Dakota Flips. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, uh, Mercari, and I have added, well, I had Etsy, but I was doing a lot of vintage. Um, I am dropping Etsy and because I don't sell vintage anymore. Um, I've gone to um, all shoes starting in the new year. Uh, and, um, I also, I did pick up, what's it called? Oh, Curtains. Yeah. So I had, was watching another YouTuber and she had joined Curtsy. So it got me curious. Um, Curtsy somehow was affiliated with Poshmark. So every time you list on, if you, jo you know, you join Curtsy and then, you don't even have, you could list on there straight, but I have, you know, I have everything going over with Vendu to my, you know, Poshmark. And then that automatically lists over there. I don't have to even do anything. Um, I have been on it for a couple months. I don't do anything on it. I probably should go in and drop prices and I get a lot of likes and I don't send offers. Um, my goal this next year is start focusing on um, going into that platform even though everything is listing itself from Poshmark um I need to go over there and if someone likes something be more proactive and try to sell it um they have a lot of features you can do live like live recordings and stuff trying to sell your stuff um you can do like a lot and then auction it off like with a whole bunch of stuff I've thought about that with some of my leftovers what Play-Dohs and um uh, so Encore are not going to take, but I have had a lot of luck with them. They've been taking quite a bit of my stuff. Um, today's Thursday. I started this on Monday. Um, I got a little bit better throughout the week. My payouts weren't as high, um, on Monday and Tuesday, but then I kind of started figuring out what they were taking and what they were leaving behind. Um, and it also depends on who's working. Like, say, for instance, you know, I have, I was going just during, I was going day and night. I was taking a tote during the day, a tote at night, and I found I don't make as good of money on the, the night shift as I did the day shift. The day shift has older, you know, like older people, no high school kids, nothing like that. So I found with, especially with Play-Dohs, they're all high school kids at night, and I wasn't, they were only buying like one or two of my things, but they were actually like, it was on their high priority list that they were looking for. So I was kind of curious about that. And matter of fact, on one of the jeans that they had passed up was Ariat's and they were practically brand new and they were a current style. So, and it looked like they hadn't even like unwrapped, like it looked like they were, they went through the first couple and then the rest hadn't even been touched. I mean, they were just swamped. And they have friends in there. I've seen them talking to their friends. And I don't know. So I'm not comfortable going in the evening anymore. Um, I've been going during the day. The last few days I've been taking some of the things that they passed up on. The night shift on both. And I've kind of mixed it up into new stuff. And they're taking it. So it just kind of depends on who you're getting really too. Um, you know, I think they're... I don't know if they're just playing around or whatever they're doing in the evening. But, uh, so I figured out to take my stuff during the day in the morning. I'm actually like right there when they open. Uh, let's see. So Encore opens at nine. Play-Doh's opens at 10. So normally since I'm the, usually the first one, I have been this last couple days. Cause I get there about 10 minutes early, get in line, put my toad at the door and, wait for them to open and then I go in and it's like depending on what they're buying it's been a little bit longer now because they're buying stuff and they have to like list what they're buying or something I don't know so but ironically the very first time I was there at so Encore was a lady that that okay so she kind of crumbs across really rude um and she has that face like like okay just get to the point kind of so I just really was uncomfortable with there. And so then I didn't go back, but then I tried them again and then I didn't buy my stuff. So I wasn't going to go back again, but now I feel like I need to utilize this and I'm glad I have given them another chance. She was kind of like that with me again. Um, when I did see her one other time this week, but now that I'm bringing stuff in every day and I'm bringing stuff, quality stuff in, 
that they like and they're buying. My payouts are bigger. She warmed up to me, I guess, and was kind of gotten to know me a little bit. And I don't know. So anyway, we talked the whole time that she did my stuff today. So, and she is not, I mean, she ends up being really nice. So, um, if I had gone on that first impression, I never would have went back, but I'm glad I gave it another chance. So just maybe she was having bad days. I don't know. But, uh, my payouts were like the first couple of days, like $30, $60, stuff like that. Now I'm getting into the hundreds. So, um, as far as like hundreds at a pop, like today taking one tote each to both places, I made 160 something, 167 at one. And then I made a hundred, hundred and something at 119 at the other one. Anyway, I made, uh, it was over $200, you know, in the, this morning, it was all said and done within an hour. Well, one opens at the it's an hour and a half tops. So, um, yeah. So, and they're taking more, um, so the older labels I'm throwing to the garage sale. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I've kind of figured that out. So today's Thursday. I started on Monday. I am over, well over $800 cash that they've given me for my stuff. And I haven't even like, I mean, I have, that's just like not even half my death pile. So I still have my inventory to take. So I'm taking all of it. Um, what I wanted to do, what I'm doing now, instead of doing, cause I was doing two totes a day. Um, I just do the one tote a day in the morning and then I swap them. So basically now, you know, so Encore gets done, you know, before Play-Doh's open. So I just take that one over to Play-Dohs also. So they get both the bins. And today, so Encore took so much stuff that I only had like five pieces left and I just threw it into the Play-Dohs bin because I have had them take something from the other one didn't take. And but I learned what brands they're looking for, um, reading, you know, like the boards and I'm all new to this. So I feel like I'm getting me not an expert, but I'm getting better. So, and it's showing with my payouts. Um, yeah, even though I've made over $800, I've put probably thousands of dollars into these clothes. Um, but you know, I mean, it's nice to get some of my money back and it's nice to, um, I'll put it at the garage sale and make more. So, uh, yeah. Um, so today leads me to what I've been doing when I get my money and when I'm waiting for them to go through my stuff, I'll swing at some like, um, thrift stores to kind of like source for, for shoes now because um, I'm trying to get an abundance of shoes. And, and I have found, and I never really, I always was just, that would be one of the, well, the, like the first or second place I would look at. I usually look jeans are there or there are jeans. But now that this is my source, my main source of income, I like go straight there. I, I know when the people are putting out the shoes now, I got that down this week. Um, like what time the workers are usually putting them out and I'm right there, uh, getting first picks. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do a shoe haul that I've been promising and I can't tell you what day I got them, where I got them. I just am going to tell you what I got and the prices. And if I can find a comp, cause I sent, every, I sent everything to my daughter and she does the comps for me. So I haven't seen any comps. So this is kind of on her honor you know and she's so learning so if we missed a couple i mean we'll still sell it or get her money back somehow but i'm looking for practically new shoes or something that's been worn maybe once or twice or if they're a bolo gently used so that's you know and i haven't picked up bread and butter i wasn't sure if i was going to for the five dollars but if it's going to get me 20 25 bucks that helps somebody else that can't afford 50 60 bucks or 100 bucks for a shoe and that kind of just, you know, like, you know, like I need a wide variety. I'm going to need a wide variety of shoes. I mean, you know, a wide variety of price ranges. If I want to succeed, I feel like you can't just have like all high prices, you know. Um, I want to have kid, I'm going to have kid shoes, you know, men's shoes, you know, is shoes. And I'm going to have anywhere from boots to stripper shoes because <laughs> I found stripper shoes today. And we looked them up and the comps were pretty decent. So, I don't know. It's going to be 
my last video before my last video before Christmas. Um, everything starts tomorrow. I am going to try to early in the morning, go squeeze a couple, uh, another bin at each place to kind of see what I can take. Cause I was going to go over the weekend. Um, but I'm not going to have time. So I won't be able to go again until probably next Tuesday or maybe next, uh, I might be busy Wednesday. Probably I'll go, but, um, Daisy, why are you doing that? Mommy bought you a new bed. I bought her a new bed for here only. It's like this big and she rather lay on the blanket on the floor. She took the blanket off of her bed and drug it over here. Now she's going to lay on the hard floor. Mommy got you a nice cushiony bed. That makes no sense. So let's go ahead and go back in the bed. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> Come on. In the bed. Mommy, mommy tucks. There are you. Mommy tucks. There you go, honey. Okay. So, um, I will show you. Um, all the shoes I've gotten this week so far, and I've been going like, uh, I wasn't going to source, Daisy, mama, there you go. I wasn't going to source this week, um, but you know, there is downtime when you're waiting for your stuff to be processed, but I, I you know, I go out just during that time and then maybe you've hit a few on the way home, um, and then just do that. So I've been finding a lot of good shoes. I don't even really know where to start. I know that I've taken, I had like jeans and stuff here and I've managed to take, I've taken that down. I'm trying to rearrange how I'm going to do this. This, like, this will probably be my uh, immediate list, but I need to like, you know, whatever. Like, obviously I need to get boots, some boots out, definitely tennis shoes. That's my next thing is I got, I've been looking for a lot of athletic shoes because that's coming up. And people are probably starting to buy because they were kind of before I went on vacation. Um, next will be sandals because it'll be, you know, that time plus people are going on vacation. So I'm just going to stop talking and I'll just at least show you what I've been getting. But like I said, with the Play-Dohs and the um, Saw Encore, I've made well over $800. So, okay. And I still have, probably will be going most of next week, if not all week. If, or maybe even the week after, so, because of Christmas. But this is my last video. Um, and then I'm going to have one more before the end of the year. And I'm going to go over my top sales. I'm not sure how many yet. Part of me wants to do, like, 25. Someone wants to, I don't know, maybe 50. I don't know. But they're going to be all of my top, top, top dollar sales. So, um... And just show you what I sold this year and what category sold the best for me. So that'll be interesting to see because I really don't even know. I have an idea. But. And we got Miss Ancy Pantsy over here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um. Okay, first up here, I have a brand new pair of Allegra. These are leopard print, animal print, brand new. We didn't even wear them. <laughs> I just don't even make, it doesn't even make sense to me. I think they're a really good size too. They are size 39. So here's the other one. I paid $5.49 at Goodwill. And I think um the, the I don't know about the U or the new, but I think these were going about for about 35 sold uh pre-owned, 25 to 35 pre-owned. But these are brand new. So I'm hoping at least maybe get 40. That's my goal. So all right, here is another one of those Allegra's. They got them at the same place at the same time. They're sitting right next to each other. It has this cool pattern right here. Spinking brand new. Now this one was $7.99, which I was like, well, that's weird. Because they were exact same. They weren't there the day before. I've been going out there every day. So it depends on who prices them. So 
But I was confident I had to pay up since I got that. And then I got another pair for five something. That's good money too. So here's the other one. So. I'm going to put these all in my little Ikea bags. All right. I got these the same at the same time. These are Merrill. And I seen that, I don't remember what channel it was on, but if it has this and this on the bottom, they're, they are a little more expensive because they have that material in them. So, but these are beautiful. I mean, men's, you know, I mean, it has a little bit of whatever right there. Um... Yeah, so it had some little bit of wear, I noticed, after I got them, of course, you know. Like, in this little area right here. So I'm not sure how much that's going to hurt this, but, I mean, I paid, let's see. Don't go near the plastic bag. I paid $5.49 for these. So... Even if I got 20 bucks for them, I'd be happy. These at, oops, sorry. I got these at Savers. I have kind of swung in there, here and there, looking for bolos since their prices are so high. Um, We really couldn't, this is the most, I was like, I had a coupon too, and I bought some that were, six dollars that day also that were good so i averaged out the price three shoes divided by whatever would be the cost of goods and then i had my 20 percent off coupon they just randomly sent it to me so i had till before christmas to use it so um i got these these men's loafers the patent leather Paul Green. So I think from what my daughter said, they do pretty good. And the probably in the $30 range. And yes, I did pay $15.99 for these. But I also, like I said, my cost of goods, I always would I mean check out my cost of goods and average them whatever before I bought something like this. And that's after my coup, you know, this, that was like with my coupon added and stuff. I always figure that out before I buy stuff. So it was it a good buy. I don't know, but they're new. So I don't know. I'm trying to get a wide variety of brands too, because it's going to be a learning curve for me. So if you guys see any of these shoes that I'm buying and I'm spending on them, let me know if I'm spending too much on them. I think I averaged that out to be seven something, which in a way, sometimes when you do thread up boxes, that happens. So, but I just don't know. I'm hoping it's as good of a shoe as she said it was. Okay. Next up, I got this at Savers also, I think. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Got them at Savers. 949 um brand new there's tags on it uh and it's born um i've been kind of i know i've picked up born before but usually at garage sales so but born is a comfort shoe and i like this the style is in so i'm hoping that and I got this the same day as I got the other one. So, the Paul Green or whatever. So, yeah. My goal is to look for stuff that are practically new. I mean, or maybe just needs a wipe. That's it. I'm not cleaning shoes. All right. I got these at the Goodwill. All their boots are usually $7.99 and all the shoes are uh, the $5.49 or whatever. Um... 
This is the North Face. A little bit on the smaller size. I believe it was like a size 7. So, these had really good comps. So, um, they were in like really good shape. The bottom, the, you know, now these are, need to be like, I'll probably, since this is like rubber, I'll probably spray that down with my sprayer, like in the kitchen or something. I paid $7.99 for those. They are size seven, yeah. So, good size. Gotta get these listed soon. I don't know about anybody else. Has anybody else had snow yet? We've had a few little tiny little snow things, but not never came of it. Like, I mean, it just, here's the other one. So, happy with this find. Like I said, I've been looking into uh, a lot of athletic wear. A lot of new balances, you know, or whatever. I believe this is what that is. Or no. I got these. Um, the bottom, I got these for $5.49. You know, and the bottoms look good. These are a good built. Because look at the inside. You can tell they've been wearing them. So. But these are a size 8.5. And... A half. and I believe it's figured out. Like I said, I don't know a lot about shoes. I just started selling shoes a couple years ago. So this is going to be all new learning for me. So, um, so, yeah. These are Timberland. Probably just need to wipe that down. Here's where it says Timberland at. Size 8. Mediums. These are women's. So, just clean that up with a little, little brush. There's the other one. And I vacuum out shoes with our vacuum. But I think it's now that it's, I'm going to be using it more. It's going to become my vacuum now. And then my, we're going to get a new one for the house. Because every time my husband vacuums. Yes, my husband vacuums. He vacuums every Sunday. <laughs> That's his job. Uh, our vacuum smells like um, feet. Or like, like sour feet. Tonic. They're tied together. I thought these were kind of cool. These are actually bowling shoes. I mean, people got a bowl too. So, and they were in like really good shape. I mean, I mean, did, I don't even know if they bowled in them. I don't know. They're in really good shape. Uh, five forty nine on those. I think I'm trying to get a wide variety, like. Like I said, bowling shoes, the stripping shoes. I mean, everybody's got a purpose that they do. A pair of Adidas. I believe this was the same day because it's in the same box. But then again, in my world, you never know. I'm going to be or organized next year, too. That's one of my New Year's goals. So we'll see how far that goes. Adidas. Um, nine and a half. Uh, I paid five forty nine. Here is the other one. You're supposed to be in the bed. Why do you want me to pay twenty five dollars for a bed you're not going to sleep in? What? If we'll get in the beds, you're in Mama's Mama's face. Here we go. Okay, my daughter looked these up. This is Reaction by Kenneth Cole. I paid five forty nine for these. Got that little, I gotta get that, I'll get that spot off. 
All right. I believe these didn't go for a whole lot, but I thought they were super cute. And, you know, someone would appreciate these and not want to leave these behind. Here's that brand. I'm trying to... It's... A teen... Ag, Agner, maybe? Look how cute those are. They're, like, super cute. I mean... The bottoms... These, I mean... And if anybody ever sees a pair of shoes that they want, you can always email me and we can work out a deal. So. Yeah. So, there's those. I just woke up from a nap, so I feel like I'm in, like, turtle mode. All right. Uh, these are bear traps. I think they're just like another bread and butter brand, but I like these. These are the sand. These are sandals, just super simple. Maybe someone went, would want that on vacation. It kind of is neutral. It goes with everything. The color. So, five forty nine on those. The um, new to you, which is a private school. Catholic, I think, tuition place where they sell donations to try to um, help people out with that can't afford the tuition. So I got these three things, and I think it came because I had a $5 coupon. Plus, they had some of this was um, on sale. So they do let you use that coupon with the sale, which is nice. A lot of people don't like doing that. So, But their prices are a little bit higher just because, you know, they start them out high. And then, um, this was the one I paid a little bit more for, but it ended up all being total by the time it was all said and done with all three pairs. It ended up being uh, $11 and something cents I had it on my video. And then I, you know, divide that by three. So, can't beat that. All right. So, these are the Croc, shoe, Croc tennis shoes. Croc on the inside. You know, they had these in the men's section. So, I'm not sure, you know, some people think they're men's or not. So, it does say M10. So, maybe these are men's. Look at the bottom. So, um, these were regular priced at eight fifty. So, I like I said between this and the two I had blue. It was blue and orange this week, and orange was seventy five and blue is fifty. So, I got these candies, and I know candies isn't like a bolo brand by all means but this style is in all the sequins and the size they were i just i do not want to pass these up these are super cute and they had them priced at 10 25 they're nine and a half and like i said they're new i doubt they were ever worn if they were there like once 525 so 525 and I had a $5 coupon. So basically these were, like, we could say these were free. So if we want to go that way. And then I had her look up comps on uh, Cami. Um, they had $4.50 on these, which I got them for $2.25. There are, they're like a gold metallic ballet flat. Um, she couldn't find this exact same one. So, she couldn't find the exact same one, um, but this brand seems to do okay. So, I know there's a lot of, like, rich people, too, that go to that, go to that school, this, that school that they're supporting and stuff. So, it's probably a lot of the parents and stuff that donate this. So, I don't know if it's a rich brand, but, or like a high bolo brand. I don't think it is. 
But I'm like I said, I'm getting these are little gold gold flats. So yeah, so those three combined were eleven dollars and something cents because I had a coupon and they were on somewhere's on sale. Okay, mama's still working. I'm still getting all the shoes. All right. You know, Maurice's, um, some people like Maurice's. So, um, the reason why I got these was a couple of reason, reasons. They're brand new. I paid, I did pay $5.49 for these. And they are brand new, but they're giving me like a Birkenstock vibe. You know, I mean, obviously they're not going to have the price of a Birkenstock. But... You know, maybe 20, 25 bucks. So, um, bigger size too. I believe these are tens. I seen a seen a size somewhere. Oh lord! I don't know where it was. I swear I saw it was size ten. I think. Okay, I don't know. I'll have to look again. But I like that. And that is super cute. Like I said, not everybody has $50 to pay for shoes. Okay, that Ikea bag is full. Vionic. I do like selling Vionic. I noticed that it they sit a little bit longer than they used to. When I first started selling Vionic a couple years ago, they went pretty fast. So, but I do like to pick up Vionic because they will sell and they do pretty decent. Um, I got these because they're the Espadrille, which is really popular right now. Um, they were in really good shape. They have been worn. You can see the bottom is probably one of the most worn pairs I got. Couldn't tell that by the tops. Um, but just, you know, wipe that down a little bit. They're all not going to be perfect. Here's the other one. So I did pay $5.49 for these. So that's that. Okay, here's another one. I actually got there when the shoe guy came that day. That was the day when I was like, and then I said something. I'm like, are you here at this time every day? And he said, yeah. So I kind of know when to go in now. I was kind of going in like right away in the morning, but he doesn't put them out right away. Okay. All right. These are something called uh, Gentle Soles. Little squishy bum. Um, the bottom. I do believe these are new. Size eight and a half medium. These are by Kenneth Cole also. But I think these are like, did, did okay they in the $25 range. So. All right, Ross Homerson. I believe they this one will do well. There's some, you know, this one's a little more wear. Has a little bit of. Like scuffing on the toe, a little tiny bit of scratching actually on the toe. That could have, you know, and that's the thing though, they're not really, that could have been just from being banged up in the donation bin. So, because the backs are really good in the bottom. So, got that. All right, Reebok. These are like a, they're like a pea green type, like, like a suede, suede feel. I don't think they were ever really worn. Now I'm trying to look at the size I see. Okay, here it is. Seven and a half. So I paid five forty nine for these. 
I know Mark Fisher is a bread and butter brand, but these were bigger sized. God, they got smushed in my box. Okay. These are nine and a half medium. I paid $5.49 for those. Pretty sure these have never been worn. If anything, they were tried on. You know. Um, these are nice. Has the chunky style that's in right now. Uh, here's Mark Fisher. You know, 25 bucks, Maybe 30 So, I guess we'll see. Yeah, they're just in good These are Adidas. You can tell they wore them a little bit. Just kind of use a little bit of, um, what's that called? That little white magic eraser mark or thingy to get that off. But everything else is really good. This has the ortho, this is on the ortholite line. Get some of that pilling off right here. But I think these comps were good and they were like three dollars. I was like, kids kids are three dollars. So they someone had mistaken these for kids. Can't go wrong with that. Could have nice purple champion sneaker. Like amazing condition. They you could tell they were worn a little bit, $5.49. I try not to imagine what's on the bottom of these. It looks like there might be poop. I don't know. I try not to think about it. And, yeah. So, anyway, here's the inside. Um, nine and a half. So, these are nine and a half. If they're kind of dirty on the bottom, I don't put them in with the new stuff. I just put them down here. So, here's the other one. pair of Allegra. Am I saying that right? Allegra is like, I think there's like a, I feel like there's a, um, allergy, allergy medicine named that, or is it allergy? I don't know. But anyway, these are those clogs. They've been worn a little bit. These are in great shape. Size 39s. So I paid $5.49 for those. Okay. Daisy finally. Hi. Lay in her bed. You're okay, Mama. You lay in your bed like a little girl. Mama just gonna look at you. It's okay. Okay, so. Um, I want to say Tuesday or Wednesday, I was having like one of those days where I forgot stuff. I forgot my purse at home, blah, blah, blah. And then I couldn't sell because I didn't have my ID. I don't know. So then I was already over by St. Vincent de Paul. I wanted to go there and lose time. So I just went ahead because I know what time they put out their shoes. And I was like, didn't want to miss it. So I went there. And I asked the lady, because I've been going on there a lot. So I said, is there any way if I find some, can you hold it? And just for like a half hour till I go home and get my, get my money. And she's like, yeah. So, um, I did, I did get to the lady that was doing the shoes just in time. All right. I got, uh pair of Torrids. My Torrid does pretty well. I like the style. Um, they're size nine and they're, they were brand new. They're only like $3 and 75 cents. So I like those. Um, I don't know, but you know, they're not in the best shape. Um, this is kind of like a row, like a soft pink. But yeah, I mean, I've seen people sell these. I've This would probably be the worst one I've ever, like, I've never had one with this much wear. But what I did last time 
is, I don't know if it's a bad thing to do, but it didn't ruin them. I put Dawn dish soap inside of there and used a toothbrush and, you know, and scrubbed it really well. And it seemed to take a lot of the color. And this is like one that have, wasn't even this bad. But I mean, it still showed that they had been worn. But I mean, I sold it within two days. So these are, you know, well desired shoes. Um, you know, I only paid two seventy five for these. Wait, let's see. So that's why I figured I would pick them up and clean them because it should be a decent profit. So, all right. Another brand name. Uh, these are same place I got St. Vincent de Paul was the Birkenstocks. I do remember that. And the Torrid that I just showed you. And then I got these bir these Birdies. Birdies is a good brand. I only know that because I think I uh, when I watched Kaylee Elaine. Otherwise, I never would have known. So I would have totally, I would never would have got these. So um, these are like a gold metallic flat. Uh, size 10. Just kind of clean up the bottom a little bit. Minimum wear, wear, but birdies should do pretty well. Same place, I got these, another pair of athletic wear. These are Saucony. And they're like in, these are the React to You cushioning technology. So. And these are women's nine, but they hardly look like they were ever worn. This is what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Here's the other one. Like I said, in another one in a million years, I'd be like even excited about shoes. Shoot, use shoes for that matter. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Um, matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do a part two because I have way more shoes and I wanted to, I'm so excited to show you all of them. So I'm going to do a part two. I will get this one out first. The other one will probably be in the next day or two after that. This, like I said, right now is Thursday. So I hope to get the, this, this one out by tomorrow would be Friday sometime. And then I'll schedule the, I'll get the other one edited too. And I'll schedule that one for uh, maybe Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. So I will see you in part two. Thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you like shoes, I am moving to shoes, 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 and shoes, all kinds of shoes. Um, and I am excited to show you some of the shoes that I have picked up. And this is just this week. I still have a lot more. Um, and I am on vacation. I'm on vacation from all my platforms. I need to... Um, I have inventory all over. Some is, you know, some's here, some's there, some's there because I'm making room for the new shoes now. And I just didn't want to sell something that I didn't have. Not only that, I'm making pretty good money. Um, you know, and I needed a break. I need to unplug. So it just gets, you get kind of burned out. So uh, I'm going to come back with my thing. I might end up, you know, if I get everything done before our stuff starts we kind of start tomorrow with some of our christmas stuff we're being you know we're gonna hang out with his parents tomorrow um and then it's my family after that on saturday and uh no we have a break on saturday and then sunday and monday <laughs> we're gonna have be with the family so my my side okay so anyway um i gotta get my house cleaned so all right i will See you guys in part two.